Hey guys, this is Adam, Burns Cadillac Chevrolet. Today we're gonna take a brief look at the 2018 Chevrolet Cruze Hatchback LT. What you don't know, or you may know, that the only way you can get a hatchback is in an LT, so you get some extra features. You're gonna notice that this, on L this LT right here, I've added the RS package. You get a black grill, a little bit bigger space up front, and you have the RS badging right there. Now, I'm sure people are wondering, well, what's the difference between that and a sedan? Well, it's a hatchback, gives you a little bit more cargo space, gas miles is the same, but I still want to point out what makes a cruise a cruise. Of course, the alloy wheels, the breakaway mirrors with the color keyed um, content. It's also got the handles that are color keyed. And if you come around and see the back, I'll show you what really differentiates this car. All right, if, if I could get Manny to widen out just a little bit, and hopefully this does what I want it to do, you would see from a perspective of what this is, a hatchback. And they consider hatchbacks a five door. I'm not sure exactly why they do that. I assume because the door is kind of large in the back and it's not like your traditional trunk. So you're gonna see that the back end, of course, with the RS gives you the dual exhaust. I'm wrong, single exhaust, but it's got the port for the side over there, so it makes it look similar to it. Of course, cruise badging, LT badging, in the same exact style that you could open up the trunk on a sedan, works this way on the hatchback. All right, we come around to the back of the trunk, and I please ignore the dirt. We weren't going for design here as far as cleanliness. It was just to show you guys the difference between the LT hatchback and the LT sedan. Of course, in a sedan, you have a traditional trunk. This has a hatchback style five door, like I mentioned. It has the shade that will cover up your trunk, so when you shut it, people can't see in but you've got more space, at least from top to bottom. The seats will still fold flat, just like in the other sedans and the other model cruises, so you can carry almost anything you want to. I'm gonna shut this and I'll, we'll take a look at the inside, even though it's gonna be about the same, but let's take a look at it anyway. And I mentioned outside that this is practically the same as the regular cruise sedan LT, but I still wanna go over the basic features. Cruise control on the steering wheel is to my left, audio controls are to my right. The driver information center straight in front of me is the same. Of course, I've got a pretty decent sized cup holder. I've got an automatic, plus pretty much any ports you can want nowadays with a USB and a auxiliary jack right there. Auxiliary, let me say that right, auxiliary jack. If you come up here, all your climate controls, and then you have your touchscreen radio. And the touchscreen radio may not look like much, but it's got everything you can want, Bluetooth, you can actually use your gallery, but the thing that sells this car the most is that if you have an Apple phone or an Android phone, you can plug this up and it'll play Apple Android. I mean Apple CarPlay and Android Audio. Plus the fact this thing has OnStar, it pretty much comes equipped with almost anything you can want. Please be on the lookout for more videos on the Cruise Hatchback when we get some more in. Find us on social media, follow us, make some comments, tell us how we can make these videos better.